and we are live welcome to lunchtime hey everybody i hope you're ready for today buckle your seatbelt because we have a lot going on today and uh you know here at the lunch table we just want to be relaxed and comfortable and uh have a chance to sit down and talk to everyone. I'm Leona Dooley and under this hat, as you can see, and uh, I have on my derby hat because for those of you who may not be in the state of Kentucky or may not be from Kentucky, this is Derby Week. And uh, certainly Derby has been in the progress of um, uh, celebrating, people have been in, from, uh, in Louisville celebrating the upcoming Derby, which is going to be on Saturday. And so uh, I thought, you know, I'm going to pull out my hat and put it on and we're just going to have a good time at the table because after all, that's what lunchtime is all about. Now, today, you know, for me, Derby just sends out signals to say that this is time for us to think more summary. And uh, we have been through spring. We've had a chance to celebrate our spring holidays. And um, we've taken a look. We, we, we went through Easter. I've still got my spring wreaths up, but they won't be up for long because the summer ones are going to be coming out. And now's the time to kind of turn that kitchen around and start to look at some of those items that you might want to add in your kitchen. Now, you know, for those of you who, um, hello, hello, for those of you who um, like to decorate and like to add decor to your kitchen, then certainly you want to um, think about some type of summer print, summer themes, you know, those kind of things. And I see we've got Sue. Sue, it's so good to see you. And uh, yes, it's a good afternoon. We are so glad to be right here. So I want you to um, think, Sue, um, what do you do to, to kind of get your kitchen ready for the summer? Are there summer things that, first of all, summer um decor that you might want to put in the kitchen that you know that you're going to take out i have a box up in the attic that is just strictly summery and uh, it includes lots of florals it includes um uh, some tiered trays it includes all kinds of things but i thought today we take a look at that because may and happy may 1st May is when we really start to transition more into a more summery look. We've had the florals, we've had those kind of things for spring, and we're certainly trying, and hopefully our weather is going to cooperate, and uh, we're going to feel more summery, and I'm going to take this off because it's just a little warm, and see what we can do here. Let me get put back together. But, you know, for Derby, those are the things we do. And certainly for those who are in the Derby area, you know that um, after Derby, that's when we really start kicking into um, more summer activities. Hello, Nitty T. Good to see you. Good to see you. We're talking about what we're going to do for summer. And, uh, you know, as I start to uh, think about not only um, things that we're doing in the kitchen, what we want to add to the walls, what we want, if we want to change out the curtains, if we want to uh, use a new idea or new decor as far as your table setting, you know, those are some of the things we might look at. And so this week, uh, and next week, I'm going to be doing a little bit of transition. And uh, we're going to start to take a few of the summer things and put them in. Now, in this kitchen, I've been uh, adding more hydrangea um, decor. 
And so I have my hydrangea napkins. I don't know if you can see those. They've got pink. They've got purple. They've got blue. They've got little butterflies that are that are a part of it because certainly butterflies are a part of summer. And if you have a favorite flower, then certainly you're going to want to add that to your decor. Um, I took a look and I pulled out. Oh, I've had a good time. The big guy was looking at me going, what are you doing? Well, I started taking out some of those things that I know I'm going to use. Now, this is a design for the summer. Does that not just look like um, every one of those flowers should be in a bouquet for the summer? And these are just napkins, beautiful napkins that you can put on your table. You could keep it as simple as a glass top table, white plates, these beautiful napkins, and a few little flowers that you might clip that you get from the grocery store. Huh, beautiful table, ready to go. Uh, let's see. Sue says that she has a small kitchen. So she uses a summer thing, uh, summer thing dish towels, and she goes to lighter curtains, accessories that don't take up counter space. I'm with you. Now, even though I have I have the counter space, I try not to clutter it. And you know, we're on a uh, decluttering thing going on this month. <laughs> Denise has thrown the gauntlet down. Denise of uh, the Apron Diva threw it down for us this, this month. And she has a day by day, 30 day um, uh, decluttering idea that she's doing. So each day we have something we're supposed to be doing. I'm going to try my best to keep up. Going to try it. Going to try it. And, you know, it's one of those things we try. And if we make it, we make it. In those days, we just can't do it. We'll skip that day and go to the next one and try it again. But anyway, we're looking forward to that. And uh, certainly, our kitchens are places where we want it to be bright. We want it to be as beautiful as possible. And, and to be honest with you, I love these napkins. And... Uh, I'll, show, I'll try to turn you around and show you the hydrangea, what I did with my hydrangeas in the bay window, bay and over the kitchen sink uh, in just a bit. But I took hydrangeas, I started them during the spring. And uh, in the reeds that you see behind me, you know that they have little blue hydrangeas in there as well. And so um, I tried to carry the thing throughout. Now, so I've got a hydrangea runner, you know, I've got hydrangeas here and there, just touches that we can put in that add that little something extra to our kitchen. Now, I'm going to see what else we can come up with. You did? Nitty T says she checked Denise's plan this morning. Whew. I don't know if I'm ready to work that hard. Denise is trying to get us to work. What do you think about that? But uh, I, I'm, I'm going to do the best I can. Now, this month, and in fact, this weekend, I am up to here swamped with things to do. And uh, I have some friends who are going to be who are going to be leaving Derby City and they're going to be coming here to stay with us. So we're going to have a chance to for a week to really enjoy each other and uh, just have a great vacation time. And uh, so I'm looking forward to that. So needless to say, I've been working trying to prepare for them because there's some things that I wanted to do and wanted to have in place. In addition to the fact that I'm going to have one night and I like to be able to film some of it. We'll see who agrees to that. But um, I'm going to set up a buffet 
and I'm bringing in the whole crew, the whole family, the grandkids, the kids, it works, are going to be a part of um, dinner one night. And uh, those who, who live close, it's going to be easy for them because, you know, we're still in school with the kids. And so, um, but the door will be open and those who can will certainly come. So I'm looking forward to that. And uh, so this week, I'm taking the time to try to make sure that I have those plans in place. Now, it's not going to be as fancy, fancy as if I were um, having celebrating a holiday like Christmas or Thanksgiving. It's not going to be quite that um, ex extensive, but it's going to be a nice buffet for them to be able to come in and have time, sit down, enjoy our friends from uh, Kentucky and come on back and do what they need to do. Let's see. Uh, Nitty T says she may have about one and a half hours today to work on the task. And she's okay with that. I hear you, Nitty T. An hour and a half, that's enough. <laughs> You know, now I am a firm believer in spending at the max 30 minutes on a project, get as much done, to, or, you know, 15 to 30 minutes on that project and then keep it moving because we want to be able to get as much done as possible. And um, you may not be able to finish it all today. You may have to break it into two, two days or come back next month and work it again so you can get it all finished up so like i said 30 projects but she's done little bits and pieces along the way so because of that uh, it may be that you might actually be able to get it all done in one setting so we'll see how that goes we'll see how that goes all right so let's look at some of the ideas i was thinking you know I have the typical uh, summer ideas that we're going to take a look at. We have attended, we, we like to look at, and here's what I did. I did the, the runners with the hydrangeas. This is where I, I started. I started, I saw the runner. I thought, oh, that's so pretty. I love the colors, even though, you know, I really don't do a lot of blues, but they were just pretty. And, and I know I love the purple and purple, pink and uh, blue hydrangeas. I've got those in the yard. So certainly I wanted to do something with that. And I thought, OK, that's pretty cool for the summer. Now, I don't know what your colors may be. And that really is where where, you know, the rubber meets the road. What are your favorite colors to be able to combine with what you do? So from there, I also love, 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 and a lot of other people as well, love the lemon theme. And um, you can find the lemon theme everywhere. And um, it's so fresh, the citrus. I saw these little canisters and I thought, oh, they'd be really cute. And uh, to add to a lemon theme, because usually, I'll be honest with you, during the summer, every month, I will change themes. So these hydrangeas are going to probably be up through May. And then starting June, we're going to go to a different theme. So I'll kind of take you through that so that you can see how it progresses. But I also like pineapples. Now, I saw these at Kirkland. I went in Kirkland and uh, I like the little pineapples because number one, they're neutral. And so you could you put them on your computer, make them a part of your coffee bar. And um, the nice thing is, is that they don't add an additional color. So if you're a, a person who likes a more neutral color for, for your kitchen, then certainly this gives you the opportunity to be able to uh, 
have the pineapple thing and not necessarily have to change your colors along the way you know because pineapples can be can range you know you can come with a really bright yellow to something a little more subtle and this is certainly a very subtle color and uh, but they're beautiful absolutely beautiful i really like those and uh in addition to that i had the pineapple and in a little while i'll try to get the pineapple vase on here i thought i had put that in but i will in just a moment of where you use actual pineapples and you take the pineapple you take the little top out and what they've done is that they actually you cut the the actual meat of the pineapple out and you leave the shell of the pineapple and in that shell you can rinse it out put some water in it and put your fresh cut flowers and use the pineapple outer portion as the vase if you wanted to do a tropical theme maybe like that could be something i really could do for um, our upcoming little family gathering now there's two things that happen when you do that number one you have the look of the pineapple which is going to be attractive number two you're going to have the fragrance of the pineapple and of course, number three, you're going to have the pineapple itself to be able to cut up and use either in a fruit tray or whatever way you decide that you want to use the fruit. But that gives you an option as well. So I'm going to take this one down. I also thought about the fact that we use an awful lot of bees, a lot of bees. And... Um, I'll be honest with you, the bee thing has never been one that I've used. Never, ever. And uh, it's not that I don't like the bee thing. Um, it's just that I haven't used it. You know, I haven't used it. And so um, I'm thinking maybe I might use it this year as a part of our outdoor thing. And um, this just happened to be one of the runners that I saw. And I thought, oh, he's kind of cute. He has a lot of color. And it picks up the color of the pillows and those kind of things that I have on the porch uh, already. So that will be fun. But as you're selecting a theme, you know, it takes a couple of, uh, it probably takes a couple of seasons for you to get all the little things that go along with it. It's not going to be something that you're going to probably change in one summer. And it may be that you may add to it along the summer. And uh, whether it's in your indoor kitchen or you may be fortunate enough to have an outdoor kitchen. So those are some of the things that we can think of. I also thought of coastal themes, but before I get to coastal, let me come over here and show you. This is a picture of, let me see if I can take that banner off. Uh, I'm going to hide that for just a little while. This is the, a tiered tray with a watermelon theme that I thought was kind of cool. And, um, uh, it's really busy and has a lot going on. Now, do our tear trays have to be quite that detailed? No, they don't. And uh, but they are nice to have. And certainly they're very uh, you could use it inside or you could use it outside as a part of your uh, if you have an indoor porch, it gives you an opportunity to have something special for that indoor porch to be able to use a tier tray or you may have a count may have some counter space where you can add your tier tray as well so that just gives you some ideas there now also let's see if i can get these others pulled up hold on one second while we're thinking about these uh i uh huh I guess I didn't put them in. Okay, 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 okay. I didn't do that. All right, sorry guys. Um, 
I was trying to see if I had added the other uh, pictures in, and I guess I didn't. Let's see if I can. Huh. I don't know where I put them. I know I had them, and I thought they saved right there, but I guess they didn't. Okay, so we have, um, I can go to, um, where we were looking at summer kitchen decor. Let's see if I can bring this up. Okay, I think I can. If I'm driving you crazy, then I apologize. I, I just realized that I have turned it down. I'm having a moment here. <laughs> and I'll bring you back. Sorry, we're all over the place. I'm trying, trying to get to what, what I need. And uh, sometimes it does what I want. Okay, so we're going to share the screen, and I want to look at um, Summer Kitchen Decorating. Here we go. And share. Let's see if I can share that. Okay. Now, uh, okay, there we go. There we go. I finally did it. Yay. But uh, we want to be able, hello, hello, we want to be able to um, take a look at some of the ideas that are here. And let's see if it will let me. Uh, okay, it's not going to let me do it. Well, hopefully you can see better. But we're taking a look. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Okay, Nitty T said that her go-to summer spring theme is a sunflower. She said because it reminds her of her grandmother. And she planted her first seeds with her many years ago. Oh, that's sweet. That's sweet. Now, do you still do that? Um, do you still have your sunflowers? I usually go and cut fresh sunflowers and uh we, uh, I really enjoy sunflowers because they are so large and beautiful. Um, Sue said that um, you can use a watermelon the same way as we use the pineapple as a vase or even a, for as a serving bowl for fruit. That's a great, that, that's a great thing to remind me of. And I'm going to jot that down right now because we use a lot of watermelon and um, in our fruit bowls and on our platters, fruit platters, and certainly having the actual bowl would be very pretty to be able to use the outer shell of the watermelon. So that sounds good. And, you know, with the little smaller watermelons, oh, my goodness, that would work perfect as a vase. So, all right, depending upon the size of your, um, of your table, you could do a larger one. Um, you are absolutely right. You know, with Mother's Day coming up, certainly, uh, you know, we want to remember our moms and our grandmothers and all the things that we did with them. And uh, I know I, I, uh, my mom was a rose girl. I mean, she had beautiful, beautiful rose bushes. And um, so I, I have rose bushes as well, both um, the little miniature roses as well as the larger variety. So that is certainly something special. So as you look across these pages, I, I'm really um, thrilled to see that as we go to our different locations we're, and, and we're searching, there are just so many ideas out there. All you have to do is just type in the theme that you're thinking about. And uh, certainly you have a wealth of ideas of things that you can do. And Pinterest is a great place to be able to go to and just find all kinds of goodies that uh, you might like and want. Oh, Nitty T. 
she said, unfortunately, the squirrels take them out. So she says, you purchase a lot of them. I hear you. I hear you. I didn't know squirrels liked sunflower, but that makes sense because they like the seeds, like the seeds. So that certainly does make sense. But um, anyway, we're talking about the summer. So we've taken a look at our little hydrangea napkins. We've taken a look at our more uh, summer flower oriented napkins that we can use as a part of a buffet, or you can use them every day. You know, napkins are some of those things that um, they're disposable. And when you have parties, you definitely want to uh, think about um, using something that's going to be easy. Now, here's, these are um, melamine or melamine plates not glass, that I can use inside and also outside. And um, you see the colors are so bright. And the nice thing is, is that I, I have a whole set of these. I can pair them with the napkins. They didn't have to be, whoops, they don't have to be the exact print, but they're close enough. And these were Walmarts. Walmart's little plates. I don't think I paid. Um, and if you have like a, what is it called? Family dollar. Look at family dollar because they had some very similar with nice colors that, you know, even a white napkin with this on a plain table with white plates, it just adds a touch of color. Then I'm a picture girl. So I like being able to set up little pictures. And uh, so this gives me a chance to pull in some of those colors along with it and just pick up some of those summer colors along the way. So pictures are always nice to be able to use on our table. I also found, and let's see, this is a little $2 plate. I got it from dollar general store and i think i picked up eight and um but look at those colors is that not beautiful and the actual dinner plate that goes with it is the solid um teal or turquoise that you see around the sides it's the solid but just imagine you have this, you have, you can have the turquoise plate. You can go with a white plate, white napkins, keep it simple, but doesn't that shout summer? And just imagine with a nice table set up on your deck or in your kitchen, then you're ready to go. So it's so easy to pull it all together, which is a lot of fun. Now, I pulled out, I only have a couple of these because I use them more for serving, but I love lemons. I love the lemon theme. I use it a lot in the summer. And, uh, oh, thank you, Sue. Sue says she likes those, the napkins and the plates. Now here's a, uh, a theme that I got from, uh, Tuesday morning, if you have a Tuesday morning in your area, when I went, two was all they had. I would have gotten at least four to six, four, four if you have a nice little, you know, two couples sitting down to dinner, and six if you add in a few more. And of course, eight would have been perfect, but wasn't able to find eight, only could only get too. So I use these more, to be honest with you, as decor rather than as a table setting. So I'll take these and I'll put them on a plate stand and just have them as a background on the counter. And uh, it just adds a little touch of color because remember my flashes. So this just brings in a little extra color there. And the cool thing is, is that I can even pull in this colorful napkin with it. And it's not too, 
not too off. It picks up the floral that's in the plate. And so these napkins just kind of, they bring out the summer. Now, I, what I did find was that with this particular plate, um, I looked at, I did solid yellow. I've done uh, yellow and white napkins. Uh, and of course, white napkins. I can pull in pinks if I wanted to go with a pink. This looks really cute with like a little teeny tiny pink and white uh, gingham look. This plate will stand out. And sometimes you can find those napkins or even just with a pink napkin or a yellow napkin. Uh, if you like darker colors, then certainly you can go with a dark green or a lighter green as well as a more purpley dark color for the olives. And so the plates themselves will start to add and set the tone. Uh, I have yellow pillows, especially if I'm going to use this outside, yellow pillows to set off the deck and then work with the rest and uh, bring it in. But it gives you a chance to be able to just add some additional items. Now, one thing that, like I said, I told you earlier when we were looking at, uh, where is it? We were looking here where we were looking at the purples and I was telling you that I don't do a lot of, I, I've never used a lot of blue. So this time was the first time that I've really gone with whole hog, so to speak, with the hydrangeas. Hello, hello. Good to see you. We have the princess I in. There she is. Wonderful. Glad to have you here. We're talking about our summer kitchen, what we're going to do in our summer kitchen. And so I found these, these little blue and white napkins with the flowers and uh, the florals, very artistic, very pretty band to them. And, you know, I'm thinking, okay, they can go with something solid if you have a, a blue plate, a dark blue or a light blue plate, because it does have a little light blue in there. But also I have a, I have pitchers and uh, ginger jars that carry a very similar thing. Now, one of the ginger jars, I actually put flowers in. If you'll hold on a second, I'll pull it. Okay, so I have the blue and white ginger jar that I put some uh, florals in. And so I could very easily have fresh cut flowers, have our napkins, have the ginger jar. I've got a couple and uh, all right, the ginger jars could stand alone. And I'd start to add some additional flowers in. I could go solid white uh, if I wanted to go in that direction. But just add the colors you love. So blue is a definite option. And there are tons. I have seen tons of blue designs in the melamine. And the melamine's nice because if you get a good melamine, you can actually dishwash them. And I've been fortunate, even these that I was showing you earlier that I got from, uh, from the Dollar General, they go in the dishwasher. And uh, what I try to do is to put them on the top shelf so that they won't get too hot. But so far, they've done very well. And we've got blue in the one that we looked at earlier. And I'm not sure we can pair these two because the designs are just too different. But we're picking up the blues nonetheless as you look at that pattern. There are lots of blue that's in there. So we really could go with a solid blue napkin. So that gives us some additional summer ideas. Now, so what other things? I thought about coastal themes. Let's see if I can. Uh, 
I looked at summer tables. I'm going to take this one out. Uh, okay, I'm going to take uh, that one out and I'm going to share with our summer kitchen tables. Okay. All right. So um, looking at table ideas, this is something I love, 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 love. Thinking about, thinking about what shall I do with my table? And I see I'm not the only one. I'm not the only one. Nitty T said, I got her wheels turning when we mentioned gingham. She said she may have to, may have to uh, make some napkins because gingham is going to add the texture. You are absolutely right. And, you know, just having a, you don't have to have a lot. I'm not a, um, a true blue farmhouse girl. But yet and still, I kind of like having just little touches of gingham here and there. Uh, one year, I used um, Nitty T. I know you were saying you were doing the sunflowers. Well, I found, I'm trying to think, was it at Hobby Lobby or was it on Amazon? But I found a yellow and white gingham that picked up a sunflower design for a runner. The runner was more solid, but um, in fact, the, I tell you, I, I did look at, it's a black background runner with beautiful yellow sunflowers on it. And I found black and white gingham napkins. And I thought, okay, adding the two, the black and the white, uh, and I like the, the black and white. I do like the black and white look. Or with that solid black, finding a yellow and white gingham would be pretty. And uh, there's tons of yellow and white gingham ribbon as well as, you know, the black and white. But here's just some ideas of things that we could do with our tables. And so certainly... Um, we've got coastal themes, we've got uh, lemon themes, we've just got family themes that, um, that you can pull in uh, fresh flowers from your garden. Um, I try to make sure that I rinse them well so that I don't have any little visitors to, to uh, visit our table, but I do like fresh flowers. Um, you know, I even thought of peacocks. I don't know how many of you have used peacock, using a peacock theme. And uh, Nitty Teeth said that sounded uh, beautiful and classy. Yeah, where it's not real farmhouse, but it does give a little extra touch of something that I think I think would be really pretty. And, you know, it's okay to be kind of uh, extra when it comes to, when it comes to our tables, we can be, we, we can do what we want to, and um, we can make it simple so that, uh, you know, having runners, very often uh, I'll get two runners for the table and do it in a cross. And then that way I don't necessarily have to have a placemat. I'll just use uh, my plates, my, uh, 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 what do you call them, the, that go under the plates, I, I'm, I dropped it, but anyway, but anyway, things that we can put on our tables to add beautiful color and touches that just bring the table out and bring your kitchen out. Now, I also looked at you might want to take the time to uh, look for, once you know what you have, pull some of the things that you like. You know, if there's particular sugar bowls, particular, um, I know I have certain uh, 
teapots that I like to have out at summer, and it's because they look like summer. Um, I do have a beautiful sunflower teapot, and um, but I use that when I'm down at the beach because of the colors in the kitchen. And uh, so I have the um, I have the the advantage of being able to have two different places. Let's see what you said. You said you don't care for farmhouse or shabby chic. <laughs> okay, I, I I hear you. I hear you. I uh, you know, okay. Uh, it, it's okay, and we all have our our likes and dislikes. But for me, um, I like to keep it. I want to have the touches. I want you to look at it and say, oh, that's really nice. But I don't want you to be overwhelmed with whatever it is. And so uh, that gives me the advantage of being able to add touches here and there. Like I've got the, the wreaths. And you know what? It wasn't until, you all are going to laugh, until I sat down to lunchtime last Monday, looked at the back and realized, look how similar the colors are across here from the picture to the wreaths. That was not planned, guys. <laughs> it just looks like, oh, she put up the picture because of the wreaths, or she put those wreaths up because of the picture. No, I didn't. It was a ah, aha moment uh, where they actually blended together. This particular picture I've had for quite a while, and it is one I can't remember I got when I was in Kentucky, and uh, the print, and I had it uh, framed once we got here to Virginia. I love it, and I, you notice it picks up a little touch of the blue, but it also has so many other colors. It's got apples, it has oranges, it has peaches. It has an orange that's been cut. And you see the red rose? The red rose is really the reason why I bought this particular print. Because my mom was such a red rose person. She always had red roses. And so I, I had to have that print. And so um, that's a part, this is a little bit of my history as to why I keep it, keep it. And it has moved from room to room, depending upon what I was doing. And I think at this point, this is going to be a spot. You know, you, you change things around, you change pictures around. And until you find that place that you put them where you can just go, oh, okay. I like it right there. I don't want it anywhere else. That's the perfect spot. And I think that's exactly what's going to happen here because I, I love when I walk into the kitchen, I love looking at this particular print. And so, um, you know, sometimes I will purchase the print and then go to Goodwill and find a frame. And uh, sometimes you can find some really beautiful frames at Goodwill or Habitat for Humanity and just pop up whatever it is they have in there. It's just, you know, you're really looking for the frame. And so we have an opportunity to do that. So like I said, but these wreaths change out. They, they will change out and they're going to be changing for the summer. And I'll be picking up some, some new colors. So we want to... Uh, uh, decorate our kitchens. And uh, I love, I love having, uh, I have a certain theme here in the, in the kitchen. And when I say theme, Nitty T, I'm like you. I want to keep it classy. I want to keep it simple. And I want you to be able to walk in and say, oh, okay. You know, you like so-and-so. Or this is your plan. This time, I want you to die. It's all over me. I can't stand it because there's just so much of it. Because I think when you get too much, then 
for some people, if that's not their thing, you almost run them out of the kitchen. And we don't want to do that. We want to be able to, uh, they'll be able to stay in the kitchen. They'll be able to enjoy what you enjoy and enjoy the time in your kitchen. Um, also, this week is going to be my week to set up my, my, at my patio and uh, my screen porch. And we have had so much uh, pollen, which I'm sure all of you have had as well. But it just seems like this year we had, it was terrible. And so uh, the big guy is going to be cleaning the deck and getting all that stuff done. So I will be decorating the, the porch this week because I want to be able to sit down on the porch when our friends are here. And uh, so I'll be pulling some of those items out. Now, when you look at, I have to go back to this napkin. This napkin is the napkin that I typically use at the tables out on the, out on the porch and the deck. And um, the reason for that is because I took one of these napkins shopping. I took it shopping with me. And when I got to, I went to Tuesday morning. And when Tuesday, when Tuesday morning had cushions that were almost identical to the napkin. Okay. I thought, well... I don't want all the cushions to be like this. But what I was able to do was to find, pick up co the color to find a solid color that I could use. And then I found just little chair pads, the chair pads that you put in the bottom of your chair that went around the table that are almost identical. I mean, you could just about lay this napkin on there. And if I didn't tell you, you would think I bought them at the same place at the same time. And they're gorgeous. It looks gorgeous. And so uh, I have wreaths that are going to be hung on the two doors that will pick up those colors as well. And I tried my best to find these flowers to use in the wreaths. So the deck is going to be decked out with, and this is the theme for the outdoor deck the deck and the porch, the screen porch. So this is our theme. So that's not going to come into the house. Whew. Kind of busy, a little too busy. <laughs> you know, where I like all the color, but the big guy, the, you know, I have to, I have to stop sometimes. I don't know if you all have to do this. I have to stop occasionally and just kind of um, say, okay, this might take the big guy a little bit over the top. And, uh, you know, he's very patient about the things that I do in the kitchen. But sometimes he'll come through and say, okay, too much, too much. This is just too much. And so sometimes I have to back off with some of the plans. But uh, for the most part, he's very cooperative with, whatever I decide to put in. Decorating those doorways. Well, to be honest with you, I've already done them, Sue. But what I will do is to show you, and I, I will show you how I decorate the, the actual porch and how we put that porch together. So I will do that. And, um, uh, but I hadn't thought about doing a short on decorating door wreaths. You know what? Great idea. It doesn't have to be that one. Okay. Decorating door wreaths. I think I might be able to do that in 60 seconds. Okay. I've got that down. Got that down. So I will work on that. I will work on that. I like that. I love that. But those these particular door wreaths I've already done but you know I've got room to do a, a little table centerpiece and uh, there's some other things that we can do we can definitely do 
and uh, that will be short and sweet. And uh, we can put those together and have them ready. Because you know, the the nice thing about um, the nice thing about once you se select whatever it is, I you know sometimes it's fabric. In this case, it was a napkin. So you have to find when you find that pattern. And in fact, when you look at this blouse, look at the two of those. That wasn't planned. That just happened. I was going to wear this because I thought it looked rather springy. But, you know, then when I looked at it and held the napkin up, I thought, oh, my goodness. Wow. So find your napkin or find your plate. Find whatever it is that you like and then work that pattern. Work that pattern. So that is what that's where I start. I start with some type of pattern. I take it with me. I have stuck after I got these little plates. I kept one in my purse. And uh, you're thinking, okay, the purse must be pretty big. Yes, it was at that time. And uh, I stuck it in the purse and I took it with me wherever I went until I was able to find. I, I looked for the flowers. I found these flowers at Walmart. I found these little flowers right here at um, Big Lots. And, you know, you just kind of find them in different places. And sometimes they're not always all together. Sometimes you have to piece them together. But, you know, just this pattern itself would make a beautiful wreath to put these flowers onto a gorgeous green wreath. So, you know, that those are options. So Sue, thank you, thank you for thinking about that because that's something we can certainly do. I love doing those kind of things. Or we can keep it more simple. Now, let's see. What else did I have that on my list? Oh, beachy, beachy, beachy. Now, guys, I don't have any beach stuff here because I have the beach things down in uh, down at the beach. And so um, I'll have to show those once we get to the beach. But I did go in, um, where was I? In Big Lots. And Big Lots had beautiful beach theme uh, decor items. And um, so if beach theme is your, is your thing, then certainly that's a good place to start. And, uh, you know, beach theme doesn't have to be just blue and white. You can certainly get into the pinks, the corals, and then from there, the colors just go. So um, that gives, gives you options. Now, what I do like to do is, and what I'm going to be doing is that I'm going to be taking, I found a little, let me see if I can pull him without making a mess here. This little picture, this little white picture, I don't know if I left the tag on it or not. This little white picture was at uh, the Goodwill. And I filled it with flowers and I'm using it as a vase on my table. Now, the nice thing about it is that I can pop flowers out because the tulips are, going, are definitely going to be coming out. But as long as I keep the hydrangea theme going through this month, I may actually take the colors out and add more hydrangeas in or may add more white to soften it just a little bit. But I put in the tulips just to be able to add a little touch of extra color and um, had some other colors to kind of peek in. So that gives you options of things that you can do. But a white pitcher like this is invaluable because you can do so much. And it doesn't have to necessarily be a pitcher. 
just think if you needed to use this on your uh, buffet, then pop the flowers out, wash it out good, and it's ready to go as a, as a tool for serving. So white pitchers are wonderful. And I have probably three. I have them in three different sizes. One is more like a little creamer. This is the one in the middle. And then I have one that's a little, that's taller. That um, just depending on put what I'm serving or what we're doing with it, then I can add that. Now, I know they have some very similar to these at both uh, Walmart, very reasonable, and at Big Lots. And uh, I've seen them shaped a little different, but uh, Dollar General had a white pitcher. They must be going, you know, one of those going things right now. But white pitchers are great to have. And so it's very nice, very nice, nice flowers that can go in it. So that gives us options. And that's in the center. Now, so for our summer decor, think about what it is that you'd like to do. And like Nitty T said, get your wheels turning. Think about it. And as you go in your grocery stores, that sometimes that's one of the first places to really start to look. Because right now, the summer um, decor is coming out into the grocery stores. Hello, hello. Yay. Hello, Nefertiti. Um, so glad to have you. We're, we're doing two things. I'll, I'll pull out. I pulled out. I started out today in my derby head because this is derby week. And uh, we went from derby to the summer. We took a leap. And so uh, we've been talking about our summer decor and what possibilities there may be. Uh, but as you're thinking about your summer decor, look for, um, go in your grocery store, find that section where they start to set up the summer. And I always start with a napkin. Start with a napkin. If you find that napkin that just jumps out at you and says, I cannot leave this grocery without that napkin or that plate, then you know that's the one. And that's going to be, that's going to give you uh, a thought about your starting point. If you're new and you're just starting, you know, start with a pretty napkin. Start with some cups. You know, find the cups. They don't have to matchy matchy. They can just have one of the colors in the napkin. And that's going to get your summer table off to a start. Um, good. Nefertiti's been uh, decorating. She, she's been, um, she was in Costco and she's decided she's going to decorate. All right. And, um, uh, so, you know what? Costco is a great place, too. And the nice thing about Costco is that it has uh, very often when you find a pattern, whatever it may be, they usually have everything all in one, all together. And uh, very often I would just go back to their paper plate area, see what design they have for the summer. And let me tell you, don't wait. If you see the design it works for what you're doing, pick up a package or two. And if you know you're going to be doing a lot of decorating, then definitely get two because by the time you come back, that summer design is going to be gone. And so uh, because everybody's thinking the same same way, I need to pick these up for the 4th of July. You know, that's our, our big ticket um, summer adventure. So um, you want to be able to pick those up. And typically... You'll have enough plates and napkins and all the goodies with it right there to be able to celebrate your summer. And certainly our kitchens are places where celebrate.
we want to be uh, take the time to uh, look for whatever it is that speaks to your heart. Whoop! That speaks to your heart, and uh, you know this in and of itself is a picture, a picture of summer, and. Uh, I'm gonna to have to see if I can find these again. These were Amazon. And I think in that package that I got, I had probably 50 napkins. I had enough to serve at least two functions with these napkins. So, and then have a few left over. These are just the ones that are left over. So I'm hoping I can either find these or I'm going to find some very close that are going to work with what we want to do for the summer. So don't wait. Summer is a matter of, and when I think summer, I think warm weather. If you don't already have warm weather consistently every day, then you're going to want it. And it is coming very soon to all of us. Today, I've got kind of a dreary day, but that's okay. You know, it's okay. We're going to have the rain. We need the rain. And uh, because that's going to kind of wash some of the yucky stuff out of the air and get that pollen settled into the ground. So we want to be able to do that. Now, we have had a chance to spend lunchtime together. And uh, for those of us who are trying to uh, do our decluttering, and uh, we may need to go back. I know I do. I need to go back and spend about 10 more minutes on my decluttering project. So I'm going to have to uh, stay focused here because I know uh, all of us are always trying to uh, do something uh, special in our house and to have it ready for our friends. Hello, Bella. <laughs> It is beautiful. It is beautiful. And it certainly makes a beautiful table. Simple white dishes. You know, you don't have to have something, a special dish with this. This napkin is going to speak for itself. And even at a distance, that when you walk toward it, the napkin just sings. And I'm a, I like folding them in triangles and uh, just, you know, putting it there. Or you can fold it and so it will stand up and have it on a plate and have it there. But either way it goes, it is beautiful and it speaks loudly. So you don't need a lot. You don't need a lot right there. They are very pretty. Um, Nefertiti says she saw a beautiful rosemary plant. Oh, oh, that sounds wonderful. She's going to be using her, her fresh herbs for the summer. And uh, she's going to keep them in, keep the kitchen light and smelling good. And, you know, on my uh, screen porch, I'm, I have a basket that I'm going to be doing that will have herbs in it as well because it gets enough sunlight where they'll be happy. But um, I'm going to have herbs out there, a little herb stand where I can keep those. And uh, all I have to do is just keep them watered, but they'll be able to grow and be beautiful. So we're going to be setting that up too. So we've got a lot to do between now and June 1st. But those are some things on the list. So. Thank you, Bell, for uh, with that napkin. It is beautiful. Now, like I said, I will check and make sure that it is still available uh, on Amazon. But I'm telling you, look for a gorgeous napkin and start with your gorgeous napkin. And from there, you can work wonders, not just in your kitchen, but also outside on your porch or your deck and uh, your family and your friends when when they see look one dollar and your napkin the colors 
with a white plate, they think you've done something special for them and you've kept it simple. It's been simple for you. So enjoy yourselves. So it lunchtime is over. We've got to get back to work and doing those things that we know we have to do for our family. And I can't wait to be able to talk to you again and sit down at the table together. And uh, it's been fun. My derby day uh, is going to be spent with my friends from the Derby City. And so uh, I am so looking forward to them coming. All of you, as Sue has said, have a, an absolutely blessed week. Enjoy each and every day and uh, find someone that you can do something special for. You know, those little jars of blueberry jam, they're gone. I decided I would gift them to some ladies who have been working with me at church. And uh, so I'm giving little jars away. It was just a nice little touch. And um, so I've got to go get some more blueberries this week. And I think our strawberries at the at, at our berry farm has have come in. So I might have to pick up some strawberries too. So there's a lot to do every day. So God bless you all. Have a wonderful Monday and a wonderful week. Mwah! I'll see you soon. Have fun.